Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us now inside of Mission Control Houston, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console monitoring systems on board the orbiting laboratory. They are being led today by Flight Director Chris Edlin, seen there on your screen. And joining him uh, just a little later at the Capcom console will be Rick Davis. On board, the crew of Expedition 30 is enjoying an off-duty day as they were involved in a flurry of activity over the weekend involving the ATV-3 cargo resupply vehicle comprising that crew of Expedition 30. You can see on the left uh, in the front row, Expedition 30 commander and NASA astronaut Dan Burbank, and behind him are his fellow 28 Soyuz crew members, Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. On the right side, we have the crew of the 29 Soyuz in the front row, Russian cosmonaut Alag Kononenko. Behind him, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. As mentioned, the crew today is in an off-duty day with Burbank, Pettit, and Kuipers only having their scheduled exercise periods uh, in today's timeline. The Russian crew members will be doing a few maintenance activities on board the Russian segment, doing a remove and replacement work of a failed separator in the Russian toilet system, and also participating in the BAR experiment, which looks to develop methods for detecting depressurization in any of the modules on board the International Space Station. This off-duty day uh, today is due to the work that was done over the weekend in order to connect a backup power channel to the European Space Agency's Eduardo Amaldi Automated Transfer Vehicle, or ATV-3, cargo ship. This was necessary after a power failure. Uh, the primary channel of the system providing power to this ATV vehicle, the Russian Equipment Control System, or REX, failed late Thursday during air scrubbing of the interior of the ATV. So all day Saturday, the crew, uh, in order to prepare for a potential undocking, were busy removing uh, cargo using a checklist uh, and giving up their off-duty time on Saturday to unload any of the critical cargo from ATV early on Saturday morning. Uh, they used a priority list in moving bags of vital supplies, such as clothing, food, spare parts, and other crew provi provisions from the European ship uh, and then on to the International Space Station. And then while they did that, uh, flight controllers here at NASA's Mission Control Houston and also at the European Space Agency's ATV Control Center in Toulouse, France, and the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow work to uh, restore power to that REX channel and that was done successfully with um, all relays closed at 12.03 p.m. Central Time on Saturday and this will enable electricity to reach the ATV-3 which automatically docked uh, last Wednesday to the Russian Zvezda service module. This workaround was necessary as the station is entering a time frame uh, as of today in which the angle of the sun uh, relative to the, to the station would have been insufficient to power the spacecraft from its solar arrays alone. And then following all of these activities, a planned reboost occurred on Saturday on schedule at 4.54 p.m. Central Time, uh, which involved a 6 minute and 51 second firing of the ATV's primary thrusters, raising the station's orbit by about two statute miles. So again, the crew will be enjoying an off-duty day today and finishing up uh, some of their sleep shifting. They awoke at about 1 a.m. Central Time today and are scheduled to go to sleep at 4.30 p.m. Central Time.